Hi, this is going to be a basic tutorial about using model sim. Using code from Quartus Prime, we'll learn how to simulate code on the fly and via test benches. As you can see, we have already implemented VHDL code for a full adder, and using component instantiation, we have created a 4-bit adder. You can see from the console below that our compilation was successful. In model sim, I've already created a project and I have added the two files for the 4-bit adder and the full adder. Some projects can span multiple entities, and sometimes we like to test the functionality of low-level entities, something that is not top-level. In our case, we have this full adder that we like to test for whether it's working right or not. To test it, we click on Simulate and Start Simulation. Under Work, we select the entity that we like to test for. We click OK. We select the Wave window. And in this Objects window, we can see all the ports for this module, all our inputs and outputs. We select all of them and add them to the Wave. For each input, we're going to add a clock. For the first input, x, we're going to have a period of 100 with a falling first edge. For every consecutive input, we're going to multiply the period times 2. For y, the period will be 200 with a falling edge. And for c in, the period will be 400 with a fallen edge. And all we need to do afterwards is click run. As we can see, we have different input scenarios for this module. If we take a look at this, at this case, we can see x equals 1, y equals 0, Therefore, as our sum is 1. If we take a look at this case, we have x equals 0, or x equals 1, y equals 0, and c in equals 1. 1 plus 1, the sum will be 0, with a c out of 1. Let's take a look at one more case. Actually, that's the first one. Let's take a look at this one x equals 0, y equals 0, and c in equals 1. Therefore, our sum is 1. And if we continue with every other scenario, we can see that our full adder is working properly. To end this, we click on End Simulation. The second method to test a piece of code, a VHDL, using model sim is via test bench. And we're going to use a test bench to test a 4 bit adder. We first create a 4 bit adder tb.vhd. This is going to be our VHDL code or a VHDL file where we're going to write our test bench. We begin by adding the entity declaration entity 4-bit adder tb and 4-bit adder tb. You notice that there are no ports and we don't need any ports because this is a test bench. The only output coming from this is going to be shown on the wave waveform. We're next going to start with the architecture and we're going to declare the component a uh, 4-bit adder, which we're going to use, uh, including all of its inputs, A, B, C, C, I, S, and C, O. And because we don't have direct access to these inputs, um, we're going to have to have uh, signals for both inputs and outputs. 
this also this is also because we don't have any inputs and outputs in our entity in our test bench, test, test bench entity so we're going to create a signal a b c i s and c o and each of the inputs a b and c i have to be initialized so let's take signal a which is a big vector 3 down to 2 down to 0 we're going to initialize every single bit to 0 and c1 which is a bit we're going to initialize it to 0 we now begin um, the architecture itself so first we're going to instantiate our 4 bit adder uh, using this conventional name unit under test UUT where we're going to port map signal A through CO to the inputs of the 4 bit adder A through CO and lastly we're going to write our stimulus process this is where we're where we actually specify what each of the inputs are so for example we can start by saying we ask to wait for 100 nanoseconds and we we ini initialize a to be 0 1 1 1 and b to be 1 0 0 0 after 100 nanoseconds we give it a different scenario of 0 0 1 1 and 1 1 1 0 and so on we can put as many scenarios as we want to test our 4-bit adder We'll save it Oops. and start simulation. Oh. We first need to compile it. Now we start simulation. Work for bit adder. And for these objects, we're going to add them to the wave and run them. Or we could just run all. And we might just need to zoom out. So we can see our initial test case was A being 0, 1, 1, 1 and B being 1, 0, 0, 0. When we add bit by bit, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 1 is 1. In our second test case, we have 0, 0, 1 and 1, 1, 1, 0. 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 1 is 1, 0, so we have a 0 here and a 1 for carry. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is a 0, uh, there's a 1 for carry. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is a 0, and then there's a C out. And you can test yourself for these two scenarios, but that is our test bench.